So there's a significant moment we're waiting for in this market. And it, it's been kind of boring. There's been not a lot going on. I can see it from the viewership. I see it from the comments. You know, people are just kind of like, ugh, when is this thing going to take off? Well, there is an analyst that is actually predicting a violent crash for Bitcoin in the near term. Now, this isn't what you guys think. What he's actually referring to is this time where BTC dominance does, in fact, top, where it goes on this violent crash to the downside, like we've seen time and time again. Now, why this is important is, you know, we obviously talk more about altcoins here on the channel. This is the time where altcoins gain significant dominance. So what he says is this Bitcoin crash down will be as violent as as it was after the cycle bottom signal, matching the flagship uh, DeFi assets dominance cycle top confirmation. So basically suggesting again that alts are going to be on the rise and BTC is going to be on the drop. Now, again, this doesn't have to do with price. It has to do with dominance. Right. And what he's suggesting is that we will begin our, our next wave five expansion will first be 95K, then 142K, suggesting basically we're going to go on this run towards you know, almost 150K in terms of BTC. But what this means for alts is that they are in fact going to be outpacing what BTC does. This is alt season. This is when we see, you know, other assets in the space do 5, 10, 20, 50X, right? Now, as always, this is not a guarantee. This is not financial advice. He's suggesting sometime in 2025 is going to be the top. And this is what most uh, most analysts around the space are saying. For example, uh, the Moon Carl said saying this price target uh, for BTC could be 125K sometimes in possibly September of this year. I think that's a little a little bit too short of a time for time frame, right? But he's pointing out this big cup and handle that's playing out in terms of BTC. This is the multi multi cycle cup and handle, right? This is also from uh, the scalping pro here. He's suggesting that somewhere around, you know, 180 K or so is the BTC top, but they're all pointing towards uh similar time frames, which I think is important. You know, we've, we've talked about <clears throat> our time frame for this cycle. I've said that I believe based on timelines in the past, it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, October of 2025 is where the top is for this cycle. Now, this isn't a guarantee. This isn't financial advice. And you need to understand, too, that along this road, there will be pops and drops, pops and drops, right? We, we do this. It, we go through these moments where the market gets rip roaring, FOMO sets in, it sends price way past demand, and then demand and price have to eventually meet at some point, right? That's why it wouldn't surprise me if once we get going here, this next run, you know, runs through the fall, basically into March. Uh, March is typically where we start to have our sell off and our correction as we go into the summer and then kind of a late year surge. Now, the one question about this obviously may be uh, talks of uh, recession or uh, the the uh, what's it called the election. That's another thing that could kind of stand in the way, depending on how that goes. But either way, these cycles have continued to play out the same time and time again. They're not always exactly the same, but from a time perspective, from a direction perspective, from a time frame standpoint, they tend to be very, very similar. So it wouldn't surprise me if <clears throat> sometime very soon, BTC dominance does in fact top and we start to go on this big correction where again, alts make up this major ground. But I wanna hear what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts below. Have a great day, show your love. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.